So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can easily retarget your animation in Unreal Engine 5 without doing any kind of IK retargeting or that bone stuff, bone creating or nothing. Just It was just a simple step you need to follow and you will be able to just flawlessly uh, copy the animation from one character to another character very easily. Okay. So the first thing that you have to take care of is that whenever you do any kind of animation like uh, for my case I'm using Cascader so if you open like if you open it so you will see many uh, if I go to samples then you can see there are many type of mannequins Cassie, Unreal Engine 5 mannequin, Unreal Engine 4 there are other stuff also like other character so you have to just make sure that um, you are using the unreal engine 5 mannequin because the bones of unreal engine 5 and meta humans uh, are same so it's easier for uh, to retarget that animation to your meta human so that's the first thing that you have to keep uh, keep in your mind so make sure that you use meta human so in this case i'm using like meta uh, like unreal engine 5 character so if you are using cascader so it's a free ai software uh software that where you can do animation 3d animation so i'm so in this case i'm using like this one uv5 mannequin so you can select anything but make sure that it is uv5 uh, mannequin or anything okay just make sure it was uv5 and it was sharing the same skeleton system uh, that is present in your meta human okay so you have to just select this thing and after that you have to do all your animation okay so i'm not gonna show you everything like how to do the animation every other side you can watch other tutorials so for this uh, you have to just do the animation for for me i i just do this simple this simple punching animation in cascader so after this what you have to do you have to just export this thing okay so you have to just click on export then scene then you have to select your directory and then it's all done okay it was showing some error because i'm exceeding the total frames uh, because it's a free version so you can't uh, able to uh, export more than 300 frames at a single time so what you can do you can just split it down like that so you just uh, render 200 frame first and then after 200 you will render another time so you and then you can combine both things in unreal engine 5 so it will be easier uh, so after the export what you have to do you have to open your unreal engine so you can see i just created a simple scene in this one so i'm using that animation in this character so what you have to do you have to just drag drop your meta human in this one so i'm using a meta human and then what you have to do you have to create a level sequencer okay you have to just go there and just create a add new level sequencer so i will just show you how to do this it will be easier for you i think you you will understand like this only if i try to create uh, everything from scratch it will be difficult for me so i will just explain you how to do that so you have to just create your level sequencer and then what you have to do you have to drag drop your meta human so my meta human is this one b copper and you can see there is an option of b copper i just uh, put that thing in the level sequencer and then what you have to do you have to click on your meta human and then you have to go to your detail panels and you have to click on edit blueprint okay then you have to go to your body and then you have to go to this okay the skeletal mesh assets and then you have to click on browse then you will see this thing double click on this you will see something like this and then what you have to do is you are seeing just the uh, body you are not seeing the pen but it doesn't matter it contain all the skeletal you can see there are the skeletal and just stay with me you don't need to do any kind of retargeting stuff that you are watching other tutorials so but this thing is only applicable in the mannequins okay if you try to copy some uh, other character animation to meta human it will not work because it's only compatible with the mannequins okay so mannequins will share the same bones that i uh, tell previously also that uh, you need that mannequin structure okay so make sure then whenever you start the animation use mannequin to start your animation and that's the trick of this tutorial okay how to that combine that animation from one character to the another it was not one character it was like mannequin to meta human okay it was like that so after this you when you click this you have to go to this area okay you have to click on this logo 
so it will show you something like this it will be different in your case because you choose the another meta human so after this you have to go to your windows and then you have to click on asset detail okay so asset detail so in this area and before this you have to make sure that you export your animation properly okay so in my case i exported my animation in this area so this is my 0 to 293 frames animation and and this is my 293 to or all 300 frames or 330 frames like that okay after that so i split those things in two parts if you're not using cascader then it will be not like this it will be a single file for you but i'm using cascader and it has its limitation so i just can't use that thing okay so after that what you have to do you have to export so if i show you the export um step so you have to just go to your files where you save your export your animation uh, so for my case i exported the cascader animation to my folder so there we there i have my cascader animation this was this 293 fpx i will just drag drop this thing to my android engine and some kind of pop-up will show up it was not showing right now you have to just cancel this thing and then you have to drag drop i think why not it was oh i was putting the wrong file okay 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 i got it so make sure that you put the right file okay so like this when you drag drop this thing you will see something like this you for your um time in the skeleton section you will see nothing it was like this like this it's okay do do not change anything in this one make sure that you click on import animation and leave it like everything like that and then what you have to do click on import okay so after importing you will see this type of four files it was showing error my uh, you will see like this four files okay like this one is physics asset skeleton like this okay and one will contain your animation what you exported from the other software so you have you will see like this okay then what you have to do you have to click on your meta even in this uh, area in this section you have to click on this one then you have to go to your window section and then you have to click on asset detail so in this one you will see a drag down option you have to select your uh skeleton okay that the exported skeleton not the meta human okay the mannequin one okay so in my case it was 0923 you have to select this thing okay like that if i select this thing for me i will just select this one also it will work fine perfectly so 293 after skeleton okay so i will just select this one and it will select it i already selected this thing so it was already present so you have to just close this thing and then you have to just save okay so what it does like uh it will allow your meta human to copy all the mannequins animation to the meta human okay so i will just explain you like uh right now like if you see there in my level sequencer you can see that there is a bp copper okay so in the body section you have to expand this thing and there will be an animation option okay so in if there is no animation option uh, just click on this plus arrow and then you will see there is an animation you can just add any animation okay so for me it was 293 after anime it was like this okay so i will just click on this one you can see it was there 29 three after it was showing double two times because i already did it but in your case it will show like only one animation and you can see it is copying everything like all the animation into this one okay so it was like that you can see everything is copied properly and you can do easily do the any kind of animation you want to copy you can easily copy okay so that's it i think it will help your uh animation to make your animation easy so just you have to make sure that you are uh, using the right kind of animation um not right kind of animation like right kind of mannequin so that you can able to retarget that mannequin animation to your meta human okay it's just very easy compared than comparing the with that ik rigging stuff that we all do that traditional method uh, i don't know it was so much complicated i couldn't able to understand also but this this method is easier so i hope that you understood this thing properly so that's it thank you for watching